The Fortnite item shop being dreadful is a much bigger problem than you realise and we're here to talk about that today as well as the other Fortnite news because this is the daily refresh. Now the Fortnite item shop has been the living beating heart of Fortnite for a long time now. You might think it's the Battle Royale but recently, you know, the, the last sort of year or so, they've been adding a ton of these custom maps, allowing creators to create custom maps. And bit by bit, brick by brick, these custom maps are slowly, and I don't know if we're there yet, I don't think we're there yet, that they will slowly add up to being the bulk of this game, whether you like it or not. The, the Battle Royales might always be the most popular game modes, but in the future, when you add up all the other people on the custom game modes, it is going to be bigger than Battle Royale. That's the reality. That's clearly the situation they are driving towards. What does that have to do with the item shop? Well, if you didn't know, the people who make these custom maps get their money based on the amount of people that play their maps. But how much money they get is broken down uh, by, and this might be hard to get your head around, but think, th think of it like this. Your map is broken down percentage-wise compared to all the other maps. If 1% of the total playtime is on your map, for example, which would be a very successful map, you will get 1% of the money for that month to you directly. And that money that's allocated to them comes directly from the item shop. I believe, and I could be wrong about this number, I believe it's around 40%. So, 40% of the money generated by the, the item shop and again, look this up for yourself. Uh, this, this actual figure is off the top of my head, but I know it's something similar. It goes towards paying those custom maps. It also goes towards paying the uh, live streamers and the content creators that you're used to watching on YouTube, on TikTok, on Twitch, on Kick. All of the big streamers that keep this game uh, popular. And no, I'm not talking about myself. I'm not at that level. I'm talking about the Nick A30s, the Loser Fruits, the Cyphers, the Ninjas, the Clixes, you know, all of them. Okay. They, for the most part, a big incentive of them playing this game is this creator code right here. You can pop mine in. Big Bad Snowden supports me. Really appreciate it. Hashtag Epic Partner. The issue with this is that huge incentive for the creators to keep streaming this game because this adds up to a big, huge portion of their income is significantly lowered when we get item shops like we've got for the past few days. And I'll be honest, yesterday when this refreshed, it was a minus item shop, which means that yesterday is exactly the same as today, except we lost a tab. Nothing else has changed. And so what this leads to is people spending less money on the item shop, which means creators have less incentive to make maps, uh, map creators I'm talking, which is the direction Fortnite is clearly trying to go, sort of trying to get that sort of Roblox model. We've seen it. Disney have invested 1.5 billion and they're going to be making their own custom game modes and maps. We're going to see a whole other games pop up in Fortnite. That is clear. That is evident. The money going to all these creators of these maps is significantly lower when the item shops are bad because now the pool of money that is going towards paying those creators is significantly less. Also, the big content creators are seeing significantly less amounts of money when item shops are bad and repeats because people are buying less and they get a percentage of the V-Bucks that people spend. It's as simple as that. And this has knock-on effects. It will have knock-on effects on the player base. It will have knock-on effects of the amount of creators that are thinking, oh, I can make this much money if I make a, a video or a map in Roblox, and I can make this much money if I uh, make a map or a video in Fortnite. And the more that balance changes, the more creators will shift away. Uh, and that's just the reality. And that's the huge knock-on effect that the item shop has. This is the moneymaker for Fortnite. And it's the moneymaker for the content creators and the map creators. And without this Fortnite item shop being good, all of that is at risk of sliding away. Now, I love Fortnite and I don't 
think they're going to let that happen. But it raises the question, why have they been so bad recently anyway? It's been ongoing for a long time now. I do daily item shop reviews and they're becoming a slog because there's not much you can say. It's a repeat every single day and it's completely counterintuitive. And there's a number of theories. Some people, and I think this is a ridiculous theory, by the way, blame the Lego game mode. They say, oh, okay, any skin that goes into the game, uh, the reason the item shop is so bad is because it needs to have a Lego variant. Okay, so if you click on the hot dog skin, for example, look, it's got a Lego variant. That's why the skins are so bad, because uh, the, the, the pool is limited by the new Lego game mode. Um, this is an absolute nonsense. It's complete drivel. And I'll tell you why. Uh, it's because we've had a number of skins that don't have Lego variants show up in the item shop. I'm sure if we take a look at Yennefer here, look, no Lego skin. Uh, we've had the same with the alien skins. There's plenty that just don't have that. I understand that they might be prioritizing those things, but it's not the complete reason. Uh, another thing people blame is layoffs. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, less people working at the company means less people focusing on the item shop, they say. Um, I could see some merit to this, potentially. But still, I, I really do believe that this must be some sort of deliberate decision on a higher level to be, honestly, it feels like conscience, consciously tanking their income. And I'm not going to claim to be some sort of business genius. I'm not. The people that run Epic are smarter and better at business than me. But it leaves the community wondering what the hell is going on. It, what, we want to figure out, like, why are we getting this? Because we love Fortnite. We love the skins. We love the emotes. We just want a little bit better. You know, that, that's, as, that's as simple as it is. The other big theory, and I've seen this going around a ton, is that it's actually AI generating these item shops. Like, this is a, a genuine uh, theory that this is all AI. Uh, and you can kind of see why people might think that. First of all, things just being repeated. Second of all, the choice is seemingly making no sense a lot of the time. But also, when things come on, a lot of the time, like there's certain things, like there's a song called Heartbreaker, I guess. Um, I, I can't quite find it here. There's a song called Heartbreaker, or it's similar to that name. And occasionally, the Heartbreaker skin will appear in here. So it's clearly like either a coding issue or a, uh, like AI maybe just recognizing like, oh, Heartbreaker goes here. So it goes in this tab. I don't think this is completely run by AI. I would be very surprised. I think that would be just a really bad financial decision when literally it feels like one guy could just sit down for an hour and go, here's what we're going to have in the item shop tomorrow. He could sit down for three hours and plan out a week of item shops that are brilliant. Um, and that's being conservative. So honestly, I don't know what's going on with making these item shops so bad. If you've got a theory, please let me know because I'd love to hear it, because I love the game and I want these to be better. Now, let's go on to some Fortnite news. Obviously, we had um, a teaser yesterday of a potential new skin. We think it's almost certain the Zeus skin. Here he is with his uh, constellation. Constellation, I should say. I keep saying constellation. That's wrong. It's incorrect of me. Um, and you can see kind of the, 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 uh, the essence of his skin there, which is isn't necessarily what I'd love for Zeus, but we haven't seen the whole thing here. I'd have preferred the sort of classic Zeus uh, get like a, what is it, like a toga going on? I don't know, it's something a little bit more. Um, obviously, he may be a boss in the game, but with these uh, constellations we've got, um, and Zeus is clearly being displayed there, I would imagine that these are the eight skins of the Battle Pass. Uh, Zeus, Cerberus, Medusa, Ares, Aphrodite, Poseidon, uh, Hades, uh, I may be missing one there, but I, I think that's the general indicator that we're going towards. And finally, for today's news as well, because we're not going to review the item shop because it's terrible and there's nothing to review because it's the exact same as yesterday. We have the new songs that are coming out this week. Disturbed, Down With The Sickness. I, su I suppose I should read the title first. I'll read the title. Down With The Sickness by Disturbed. That's coming. Shivers by Ed Sheeran. Weird choice for an Ed Sheeran song, but okay. Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz, which is an absolute banger. What's Poppin' by Jack Harlow. Numb by Linkin Park. 
High Hopes by Panic at the Disco, Feel It Still by Portugal the Man, and Misery Business for your inner 15-year-old emo girl from 2006. <laughs> Misery Business by Paramore. Um, a really good selection of songs coming to the item shop uh, this week. That is good to see. And hopefully we'll get the Rufus skin to save this item shop and make Fortnite great again. Please hit the subscribe button. I make daily YouTube content.